Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux match. Today I'm in a virtual machine of Windows 10. And I'm going to show you how to download an ISO of Linux Mint and how to put it onto a thumb drive and make it bootable. So let's get to it. So in your Windows machine, you could open up Microsoft Edge web browser, but I have Firefox installed. So I'm going to open up Firefox. I'm going to click it on. And I'm going to type in Linux Mint. Oops. And I already talked about in my last video, my recommendation for a person thinking of switching to Linux with Linux Mint. And Linux Mint has different uh, versions. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this on here. So like I said, Linux Mint has different versions. And I already talked about in my last video, which version of Linux Mint I recommend a brand new user to test and perhaps install. Okay, so you're going to end up on this web page and you're going to click on download. And in my last video, if you watched it, I talked about the different versions of Linux Mint. And I said I like this one, LMDE6, because it's based on Debian and it bypasses Ubuntu. And I said I didn't care for Ubuntu. So, but this is the recommended one, and this is the one I'm going to go with. Now, if you decide to take Linux Mint for a test ride, or actually install it on your computer, you can choose whichever one you want, okay? So, okay, this since this is the recommended one, I'm going to click it on. And there's installation instructions. But in my next video, I'm going to show you how to take it for a test ride without hurting or deleting your Windows installation in your computer. And then in the video after that, I'm going to show you how to install it. But if you want, you can read the instructions and just click that on and read them. Okay. So like I said, there's different versions. And I highly recommend going with the Cinnamon Edition. That's their flagship edition. Okay. So you're going to click on this download icon or okay and of course if you're using um microsoft edge web browser that's a little different i guess the download might be a little different but i'm using firefox so here it gives you download mirrors and you can check different mirrors click on the mirror you want to download if you're in the united states or canada or you're in some other country france germany greece italy click down a mirror that's close to where you live Poland and so forth. You can look at all these mirrors. Okay, Turkey, China. Didn't think they would have a mirror in China, but I guess they do. So they have mirrors all over the world. So you just go down there. And what I'm going to do is I'm in Canada. So I'm going to click on this mirror. This is the University of Waterloo Computer Science Club. And I always like to download from a, I don't know always, but I like downloading from a university mirror, so I'm going to click on this one. This is a university that's not too far from the city where I live in Canada, so I'm going to click it on. So I'm clicking it on, and now it's downloading. And this ISO happens to see, I know this is a little small, it's kind of small and it's kind of dark. It says it's uh, 2.9 gigabytes, so let's say 3, this ISO is 3 gigabytes. And I'm just going to pause the video while it's downloading, and then I'll come back. Okay, so the download finished. It took about a couple minutes. And here we are. You can see it's completed. So I'm going to close. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to minimize my web browser. And I'm going to go to my file manager. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to go to downloads. So I'm in my downloads folder. And you can see right here, this is my ISO. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. And it's 3 gigs. It's a disk image. Okay, now I'm going to go to uh, back to my web browser. I'm just going to keep that minimized. I'm going to go back to my web browser. I'm going to type in etcher, E-T-C-H-E-R. I'm going to hit enter. And you're going to go to this one, etcher period Belena IO. Now there's uh, other etcher websites you can go to, but I suggest using this one. This is the official one. Okay, so you're going to click it on. And I guess accept the cookies. And you're going to download it. So we're going to download Etcher. And it gives you, you can download it for Linux, but we're downloading it for Windows because we're inside Windows. 
right? So I'm going to download. And it's only going to take a couple seconds to download it. And now I'm going to close this. I'm going to close my web browser. I'm going to go to my menu here. And there it is there. It's set up. Blaina at your setup. So I'm going to click it on. And the license is coming up. I'm going to say I agree. And it's installing it. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't know if I'm going to have to reboot my uh, Windows because it's been a long time since I installed uh, Etcher. Now, the thing is, is that uh, when I'm making a live USB thumb drive with an ISO on it in Linux, I don't use Etcher because Linux has its own uh, various different types of applications, apps, and ways of making a USB bootable with an ISO on it. But those applications won't work in uh, Windows. So I'm going to use this. Okay, so what you're going to do is, it looks like we don't have to reboot. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a USB thumb drive. This USB thumb drive is a 16 gig thumb drive. Uh, this ISO is 3 gigs, so we're going to have enough space. Now, the only thing is you have to know is that uh, whatever is on here is going to be erased. So you have to make sure you don't have anything on here that you need. Okay, because it's going to format the thumb drive. It's going to put the uh, live ISO of Linux Mint on it. And it's going to make it bootable. So you can plug it into your computer and boot onto it. And you can take Linux Mint for a test drive. Or you can install Linux Mint on your Windows computer. And of course, it's going to wipe out Windows. But if you take Windows for a test drive, it's not going to hurt your Windows install. Okay. So just remember that this is whatever is on here is going to be erased. Okay. So you're going to plug it in. So now that we've opened up Belina and we plugged in our thumb drive, we're going to click on this flash from file. I'm going to click it on. Okay. So you're going to go to your downloads folder because that's where we downloaded the ISO. We're going to click it on. You can see Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. We're going to open it. And you can see right here, Linux Mint 64-bit ISO. And we're going to select our target. So we're going to click on that. And you can see my USB drive is here. So I'm going to, it's a fifth, well, it's a 16 gig USB drive. I'm going to click it on and I'm going to select. Okay. Now I'm going to click on flash and there it goes. It's starting. So what it's doing is it's making my USB thumb drive bootable and um, it's asking me to do that. I'm going to say yes. Hmm. So like I said, what it's doing is it's making my uh, USB thumb drive bootable and it's copying the Linux Mint ISO onto it. And you can see it's telling you how much percentage right here. It's giving you the percentage. So what I'm going to do is just pause the video for a moment. I don't think this is going to take too long. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, so it finished. And it's asking me, well, it's saying it's, the flash is completed. When it's successful, it's kind of dark. I don't know if you can see that. Flash another? Nah. And I'm just going to close this. And now I'm going to go back to my file manager. And I'm going to click on my USB drive. We've installed Linux Mint on it. Well, we've made a bootable drive with Linux Mint ISO. Okay. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to download an ISO of Linux Mint and how to copy it onto a USB thumb drive and make that thumb drive bootable so you can plug it into another hard drive, boot into it, take Linux Mint for a test drive, or install it. And in another video, I'm going to show you how to actually take Linux Mint for a test drive. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.